I bet you've also struggled with the cost and complexity of traditional voiceover work. Guys, what's the hardest part of creating conversations between multiple characters? In our scenario-based learning, for example. That we need multiple voices. Yeah, and often in multiple languages too. That does sound complex to handle and expensive. Maybe it doesn't have to be. Because the text-to-speech platforms are moving quickly. And today I'm taking a look at a new kid on the block, Lovo, who I've collaborated with for this video. As far as I understand, Lovo is supposed to combine neural text-to-speech with large language models. It's all technology. This results in more natural and expressive speech than traditional synthetic voices. This means that the voice sounds natural, like someone speaking to you in real life. LLMs provide the context necessary to generate more accurate and fluent speech, and the neural TTS systems produce high-quality speech that closely resembles human speech. Listen to this. I'm a robot, but you can't really hear that due to the quality of the tech with which I'm built. And even if I do sound weird with one word at some point, that can easily be changed to sound just like you want it to. The breathing, the rhythm, and the inflection. I'm quite impressed. And inflection is often the problem with text-to-speech tools. Pitch, intonation, what makes it sound human. A human voice sounds human because it combines variations in pitch, tone, and inflection. I haven't seen this feature before, but in Lovo, you can customize pitch. So if your AI voice says a sentence in a weird way, and you can't fix it by putting emphasis on a word, then you can dive into and change every single phoneme as the smallest sound unit of a word is called. Pitch matters a whole lot, actually. Pitch matters a whole lot, actually. This does take time, but cool that the feature is there. The easier way is the emphasize option. This automatically highlights the right phonemes for you. We want this voiceover to sound as close to natural as possible. Lovo also supports audio, images, and video, so you can actually create an entire piece of video content in here. Are you sick of endless video editing? Introducing the Timeline, the smart way to edit. Download the Timeline today and have fun editing your videos in no time. Tom, one of the co-founders of Lovo, suggested adding sound effects into the mix, like yawning and coughing, to make it sound even more real. <coughs> Sorry, where was I? Because I make educational content, I imagine using Lovo for creating naturally sounding voiceovers for storytelling or scenario-based learning. Then export individual sequences or the whole track and upload it to other tools like Beyond, what you saw in the intro. Guys, what's the hardest part of creating conversations between multiple characters? It's cool with the extra layers of production laid out in a very intuitive and simple timeline design, but I think the core product of high quality voiceovers is what's most interesting here. The premium voices are English voices as of now, and you can find a wide range of male and female voices in different styles. The ones labeled beta are the latest additions and the best ones according to the company. But I think you should listen through a handful yourself and bookmark your favorites, no matter if they are beta or not. You'll even find a couple of funny ones you can use for storytelling, or a conversation between Santa and Villainous Beast. What do you think of Santa's synthetic voice? I think you need to relax your vocal cords a bit. Santa's actually not bad for ad speaks. And what better way to spread some cheer than with Santa's voice? A unique feature is emotional voice, not something I've seen in text-to-speech tools before. So now you are able to create the connection between medium and message, instead of having these voices that sound completely indifferent to what it is that they say. You are the love of my life, and I promise you that I will always be there for you no matter what happens. You are the love of my life, and I promise you that I will always be there for you no matter what happens. Not many voices to choose from yet, but I think this feature is so important. So I hope that Lobo will prioritize it in their product roadmap. Let's look at global voices, because we're not all American, British, or Australian, right? I'm Danish, so I wanted to check out my local options in the global voice library. There are more than 400 voices in total, and even as a tiny country of 5 million people, I found two voices in Danish. Kvaliteten er helt ok. Men mit navn passer bedre til en mand. What you said was that 
The quality is A-OK, -okay, but that her name would fit a man better. It's a guy's name. <laughs> Hell yeah, doesn't really matter. As an ex-CPO, I have to compliment Lobo's product people. Maybe it's just me, but I think a lot of these generated voiceovers sound a little sleepy and dull because the pace is off. So I generate all my voiceovers in Lobo about 5 to 20% faster. I also think it's ingenious to have a global pronunciation guide, so you only have to set this up once and then it applies to all your projects. For example, every time you use a brand name or my own name. Rude Reese is not easy to say, but I nailed it. Besides controlling the emphasis on words, the emotional tone of voice, the pronunciation and the overall pace, you can also add pauses within a sentence. As you probably know, a simple pause can dramatically change the meaning of a sentence. I saw her duck. I saw her duck. At first, I thought I had to click generate every time I made a small change. But then I found this clever little setting where it does it automatically. But I do understand why the option is there. Every time you generate a new sentence or make changes to an existing one, it costs the duration of the sentence. The length of that new sound clip is deducted from your voice generation credits. Depending on which plan you have, you get two or four hours of voice generation credits per month. For me, that's a lot. So I toggle on auto generation in every project and make all the changes I feel like. Changes to emphasis, pauses, pronunciation, and speed don't cost anything. Both plans give you commercial rights to monetize and use everything you create for commercial purposes. So you can create all the corporate training, e-learning, online courses, explainers, and ads that you want. To try Lovo yourself, click the link below this video to get a free 14-day trial with 20 minutes of voice credits. That's enough to generate a quick conversation between two people, for example. Let's use ChatGPT for the scripts and Lovo for the voiceovers. I'll ask ChatGPT to write the dialogue. Then copy-paste the whole thing into Lovo that automatically divides it into blocks. I have found two voices I like, that I apply to every other box, and then it's done. Have you heard about the latest text-to-speech software? No. What's new about it? It's powered by AI and can sound more human-like than ever before. Really? That's impressive. Yeah. I saw a demo of it yesterday and it sounded just like a real person. Do you think it will replace human voiceover artists? I don't think so. There's still something special about having a real person's voice. But this technology could be a game changer for education, accessibility and language learning. Lowo is working on a full integration with ChatGPT for scripts, stable diffusion for image generation, as well as inbuilt translation and dubbing features. A lot of good things on the horizon. These platforms just keep getting better and better. Thanks to Lobo for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching. And if you like reviews like this one, you know how YouTube works. Take care.